Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Night Scout on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over a home lab, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, I got a request uh, to add Night Scout on COS OS, and the person's name was Carlos Alberto, and they've been a, a diabetic since 2009, and they were letting me know that they wanted this added, so I tried to get it added as soon as possible, and I did the COS OS, but I wanted to bring it to more and more platforms to help more and more people out there. Um, so I can't test it because I don't have any sensors or anything like that, but I tested it all the way up to the UI and it seems like it's working to me. But if for some reason something's not working for you, um, go on the Big Bear community and start a post and let me know about the error that you got or any logs or anything like that so I can uh, try to get it fixed as soon as possible. So let's get started. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to the search right here and type night. And then now you see how to install Night Scout on Dockage right here. So now I'm going to go to the Docker Pose. So version 3.8 of Docker Pose file formats being used. I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Night Scout. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Night Scout. The image is coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no URL before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. The restart po a policy is set to unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then now port mapping is 1337 is on the host side. If this does clog with another port on your host, you can change it. And then now on the container side is 1337. Do not change the container side. You can only change the host side. Um, so now environment variables right here. So the node ENV is production. The time zone right here, I would change this to your own time zone. Insecure use HTTP is set to true. And then Mongo connection. The API secret, I would change this uh, to another UUID4, V4, v four mean. Um, so this is used to get into the UI. It's a password. So now enable care portal, raw BG, and IOB. So now auth default roles is denied. This service right here does depend on the MongoDB service, Big Bear Night Scout Mongo. And then now networks for the container, Big Bear Night Scout network right here. And then now we're in the next service underneath the services, and that's Big Bear Night Scout Mongo. And it's got a container name of Big Bear Night, Night Scout Mongo. And this is so Docker doesn't have to re generate a random name. And then now image Mongo, that is coming off Docker by default because there's no URL before this. And this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. So now networks, Big Bear Night Scout network, I'm going to put in the same network. And this is so um, we can use the service name up here. So now volumes, Big Bear Night Scout Mongo data, and that's a local volume that's defined down here. And then now on the container side is data DB, and then it's set to cached. So now network definition, we're going to define the net, a network, Big Bear Night Scout network. It's a bridge network. And then now volumes, so Big Bear Night Scout Mongo a data. And I want it to be the exact same name too, so uh, so Docker doesn't ch uh, change the name. So now driver local. So now I'm going to go up here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it. Then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get the setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. 
So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm gonna start on my dockage and I'm gonna go to the compose and then stack name. I'm gonna put it as Night Scout Stack. And then now I'm gonna come over to the editor over here. I'm gonna paste in the Docker and Post I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then um, now I'm going to go ahead and deploy the changes. You can also save the changes and stop an inactive. So I'm gonna de de deploy. What this is doing is it's downloading the images off the registry, getting them extracted, and get them up with Docker and Pose underneath because this is using the Docker engine. It's also setting up the network and the volumes. So now we successfully got it up and running. So now I'm going to SSH into my dockage uh, server. So I'm going to show you where the files are located. So CD, var, um, lib, docker, volumes. And then now if we do an LS, you can see that Big Bear Night Scout Mongo data right here. So I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to CD into it. And I'm also going to go into data. So now I'm going to LS again. So now you can see all your dockage, uh, your your Big, Big Bear Night Scout Mongo a DB data right here. So that's where your files are located. So now I'm going to go over the dockage UI. So on the home page, you get a status of uh, your different stacks. So active stacks, in, uh, exited, and inactive. And then now you can see a list of all your stacks over here. So you can see that they're active. So I'm going to go in the Night Scout stack. So up here, you'll see actions, edit, restart, update, stop, and then stop and inactive, and then delete. This will update the current tag on the uh, stack. It won't it, it won't actually change the physical tag, so uh, it won't update this at all. It'll just uh, pull down the image from the registry and then uh, redeploy it. So now you'll see the containers in the stack down here so 1337 is the port you can click this and go to the ui you can go into each container by uh, clicking this bash over here and you might go to sh and there we go works and you can do the same thing over here as well um so now you can see the logs down here this is great for debugging you can see a read-only of the Docker and Pose over here, but if you want to edit the Docker and Pose, you can go up here to edit. And now you can add a service underneath services like this, and then and now it's added in the UI. And it's also down here in the editor right here. Um, so if you want to add an image to the service, you just go in here and, and add an image. And then now it's added in the UI, plus it's added over here. So if you want to get rid of the service, you just say delete right here and it's gone. And it's also gone from the editor over here. So um, you can go in to edit the uh, service right here, or you can also edit it over here in the editor over here. Um, so you can edit these vice versa. Um, you can add your rails down here. You can set environment variables. You can change the networks internal and external. Um, you can go up here and have actions, so deploy the changes, save the changes, stop an inactive, and then discard the changes. Um, I'm going to discard the changes. So, that's about the dockage UI for this stack. So, now I'm going to need to find the secret uh, uh, to a token down here, the API secret. Um, so, you'll, you'll come down here and you can just copy this. And like I said, you will need uh, to uh, replace this with something different. Um, so you can go over to edit right here, and then you can go over to the, um, the API secret right here. And then you can replace this with your own EUID 4. Um, so you can just copy it now. And now we're going to go over to our UI and log in. So now that we've got the API secret, we can go ahead and log in. So um, if, if you go over the stack, the Night Scout stack right here, you click it. Then you're going to go to the ports right here, and you're going to click the 1337. So 1337, you're going to click. 
So I'm going to click it now. So now you see the API secret or token right here. So you can just paste your API secret in here. And then you can also check mark this if you do trust your device that you're currently on. And then you can press authenticate. So now we're logged in to Night Scout. So now that we're logged in, you can see that we're on profile editor and the database records down here. And you can create a new record right here. And then you see two records now. You can also delete them. And then you can also go and save a new record. And then now we have three. So um, you can go down here and save the form fields right here. And you can go up here to X and then we're on the home screen now. So you can go and edit and then you can play music and then you can come over here to reports and you can um, see reports. So day to day, week to week, the daily stats, the distribution, the hourly stats, the percentile chart, weekly distribution, and then calibrations, treatments, and then profiles, and then a loopalizer. So you can go up here to X again, and you can get back to the home screen. Now you can go over here to profile editor, and we're back on that screen that we started at. So um, you can go and X out of here. And then, so now you can go over here and to the admin tools, and then um, once they load, uh, so you'll see subjects, people, devices. You can add a new subject right here. You can add a new role. You can see the current roles. You can delete all documents. The clean Mongo status database right here. You can uh, delete all documents uh, for the device stats, a status collection, and you can delete all documents from the device status collection older than 30 days. And then you just click this button right here. Now, clean Mongo treatments, the database right here. You can delete all documents from the treatments collection older than 180 days. And then you can also pick the days right here and then delete all doc, uh, all, all documents right here. You can click it. You can come down here to clean Mongo entries, the glucose entries a database. And then this will delete all the entries that are older than 180 days. And you can also select the days like up here. And then you just press this button. You can remove the uh, future uh, items from the Mongo database right here, or remove treatments in the future, or remove entries in the future. Um, so you can go up here to X again. And then you can come, uh, come down here to, uh, to clock views, clock, color, simple. Um, the settings right here, and you can just save. You can also uh, see the authentication status. Um, you can reset to, uh, to and use defaults right, right here. You can change the title. So that's a little bit about Night Scout's UI. So I just went over step by step on getting Night Scout running on dockage. So I hope this helps everybody. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.